Today, I'm reviewing four expressions from the short barrel lineup. They're small batch rye, they're toasted small batch bourbon, El Jefe Mezcal finish, and the Bee's Knee Honey finish. This is an up and coming brand that I keep hearing about, so I asked their rep to give me everything he could so I could review it. As you can see, he came through. Welcome to Whiskey Straight Up. I'm Derek Sanford, and this is my review of Short Barrel Whiskey. Short Barrel's beginning was from a drunken night at a bar between good friends. Patrick and Clinton were in a bar and met a barrel broker. One thing led to another, and they were basically ready to start their brand by the end of the night. Their friend Adam joined them in this venture shortly after, and the rest is history. That's a pretty cool story, and one that I think all of us could relate to. <laughs> I've got these four expressions right in front of me, so let's dive in. First up, I want to taste the Toasted Barrel Bourbon. It's got the lowest proof point at 94 proof, uh, so I think that's a good place to start. The uh, age on these are at least four years, plus a month in a Toasted Barrel. Uh, no mash bill was given, but it's MGP Indiana Rye. And the MSRP on this one is $60. So I'm going to dive right in and let's see what I see and taste and smell. Looks relatively light just by the color. So I'm going to guess that it's probably four or five years old. I could be way off on that, but it just seems lighter. It's also watered down a little bit. So um, at 94 proof, so maybe that has something to do with it. But oh, on the nose. Interesting. It's very sweet. If I didn't know any better, I would think I swapped this out for the honey finish, but uh, you can tell the proof point's much lower. All right, right off the bat, like licorice and cinnamon. There's a fruit I can't quite get in there. You know, I hate that my fallback is cherry because it's in so many bourbons. But there's like a cherry vanilla flavor going on there. All right, let's sip it and maybe that nose will change. Pleasant, a little bitter. I feel like some of that toasted's coming through on the finish. Uh, there's like that vanilla marshmallow type of flavor that I'm getting from the toasted, but the oak bitterness is there too. Let me take another sip. Yeah, it's got sweetness up front and then it kind of gives way to like a bitterness of like vanilla and a little bit of that marshmallowy type flavor, but it's almost like a char, like a bitter. I can't decide if I like it or not. That's the problem. Like it's really the nose is fantastic, um, which is good for me. I love I love when a nose is nice and sweet and delicious. That cinnamon and licor licorice is not coming through on the on my palate. Let me try one more sip. All right, now I'm getting a little bit of the licorice. Some of that honey that I talked about up front on the nose is coming through now. Maybe a tiny little bit of cinnamon on the finish, but for the most part, that 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 bitter, I don't want to call it bitter, but that oak flavor, that toasted flavor, that's kind of coming through. Uh, that's the first thing I tasted. And then once I sipped it more and more, I was able to push through that and kind of pull some other flavors out of there. So, I mean, for just a month in the barrel, in the toasted barrel, uh, it did get some flavor out of it. Uh, actually, a good amount of flavor. I'd love to know what the original whiskey tasted like, um, just to see the comparison on what one month of a toasted finish does. But uh, honestly, I would say for 60 bucks. I mean, if you could find the Michter's Toasted, obviously at 60 or 70 bucks, or I think 80, whatever it is retail, um, it might even be a hundred and something at this point. <laughs> um, it, I would say maybe that, uh, you know, that might be a better value. I would probably say that, I mean, it's not bad, 50, 60 bucks for this. I'd probably pick it up just because it's something different. You know, it's a Toasted Barrel Finished MGP product. I know we've seen that before, but it's done well. Um, and once you get past that, that a little bit of bitterness, there's a lot of good flavors there. So I, I think I'd approve. Let's move on. All right, short barrel rye 101. 
Now I know going to a rye is gonna maybe change my palate a little bit, but let's shock it and see what happens. Um, quite honestly, I'm trying to follow the proof point just because I don't, I don't want to go. I didn't want to start with a rye period, and I don't want to end with a rye after having cast strength. So I feel like this is a good spot to put it. Let's check out the nose. So this rye, um, interesting. It smells like 95.5 rye, um, MGP rye. So it's 101 proof. MSRP is about 60 bucks, same as the other. Uh, no age statement on the bottle. I couldn't find anything online, and there's no mash, but I'm assuming this is 95.5, just based off of the nose. It's like a minty, like a spearminty nose. Um, and this tastes like what I think it does. It, I'm uh, 60 bucks for, I don't care if it's four or five years. It's, it's a rye, it's MGP that falls right in line. So I might even be judging this before I even taste it. Um, I can't get anything else off the nose. It's spearmint. Yeah. Let's just sip it. Oof. That's delicious. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's 95.5 MGP rye flavor in my mouth. You know, it could be different. Um maybe it's a different a different mash bill, but I feel like I have this pegged at 95.5 and uh anyone that knows me knows that 95.5 MGP that comes out minty is one of my favorite ryes out there. Um it rivals some of those Canadian old finished um or old uh old uh rye whiskeys that uh to get that funkiness that, that comes to them. Uh, this is just a spearmint, sweet, delicious drink. I'm going to give it one more sip just to make sure I'm not missing anything. No. Sweet, spearmint. There's not much more to it. You know, it's a, The sweetness could be more of a honey type of flavor, which seeing a theme here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is just great MGP. 95.5 rye whiskey, if you had to ask me. It's it's tasty for 60 bucks. I'd buy it all day long. All right. Let's clear the palate. All right. Let's move on to the Bee's Knees Double Oaked Toasted Honey Finished Bourbon. That's a mouthful. Technically, you just call it honey finished bourbon because if you're finishing it in honey, you're finish it, finishing it in a secondary barrel, which is double oaking it. Um, but they are putting it, throwing a toast on there instead of doing a full char. So, um, hopefully, uh, this will be like a vanilla honey type of flavor, maybe a little marshmallowy. Um, but we'll see. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. So it's on the bottle. It says it's a mixture of a four year Bardstown bourbon company and a five year green river bourbon. Both of which are Bardstown bourbon companies, <laughs> whiskeys, uh, no mash bill is given, it's 114.2 proof, and MSRP on this is about $90. Um, I mean, a four and a five year finished. I guess that's an okay price. I probably, I probably would have wanted to price it more at like 75, but, but I get it. There's cost to doing this extra stuff. That's butterscotch, on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jeff, who is the rep that, that shared this, did you did you put, drop some butterscotch flavoring in here? Because it's all I smell. Man, that... God, I hope that tastes like that. That's a great nose. That's a really, really great nose. Honestly, I came into this thinking that uh, I was kind of being a jerk because I was asking uh, our rep to let me use these bottles, let me taste them. Uh, and then I had a, in the back of my head, I was just thinking, man, I'm going to end up giving this a bad review because it's, it's a brand that's new up and coming. And, uh, you know, I just didn't know enough about them, but that's a great nose. Let's, let's dive in on the flavor. Honey. It's a strong honey finish probably where the butterscotch is coming from just that sweetness it's overloaded with honey um to be quite honest i have a higher proof version of this that i bought a couple like a year ago um 
I like it better at the lower proof point here. I think the one I had was like 130 something. This is a, uh, that's going to like stick in the glass. Like you don't want to put another whiskey in after this, but yeah, it's a heavy, heavy honey finish. So I don't know if they left a little too much in there or if they finished it for longer. It didn't really have any notes on the uh, length of time, but it's, um, I feel like I'm drinking honey whiskey. It's, it's really good. Um, is it what something someone is it what you're looking for if you're just looking for like a, a, a honey finished rye or, or bourbon? No, it, it almost borders on like that. What is that? That American. <sighs> there's a wild turkey like American honey that, you know, it's just honey flavored. This comes close to that because of the amount of honey flavoring it has in it. It's delicious um, for 90 bucks. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I could get behind that price point. Um, also full disclosure that that price point I got from another website, uh, that reviewed it and said it was $90 for all I know on their website, when they do offer this, it could be cheaper, but, um, rolling with the information I could find online. So $90 for this, I think I'd be a little disappointed because it's not honey finish. It's more like, it's almost like flavoring. It's so strong, but, but damn, it's tasty. I mean, I wouldn't be mad because I would want to taste my friends on this and be like, what do you think that, what do you think that is? And I think immediately they'd be like, holy hell, that's, that's honey. Uh, but yeah, I, I really enjoy it. And if you like that type of finish, go for it. Um, just warning it's this one is very strong. Maybe with a lower proof point that honey shines more, uh, maybe with the higher proof point, some of that spice and other things, uh, masks a little bit of the honey, or maybe they just finish this one longer. I don't know, but at the end of the day, very sweet, delicious, and tasty. Mm. Just ninety dollars is a lot, <laughs> guys. If you like this review, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the algorithm, I guess, and uh, it really does help with uh, with sponsorships and things like that too. So uh, please, definitely, if you can, subscribe. All right, let's jump into the mezcal right now. It's light in color, but these all seem to be. Well, it's not jumping out with tequila or mezcal right off the bat. I know tequila and mezcal are two different things, but they're very similar profiles. Uh, mezcal just has more smokiness as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you guys can tell me I'm wrong in the comments. It smells sweet. It smells like cream soda. Interesting. Yeah, I like that nose. I mean, I'm not mad at that. That's that's a fantastic nose. Very surprised with this, to be honest. Um, all of this. Uh, you know, guys at Short Barrel, you guys are you're doing something good. Hopefully, uh hopefully you can continue this uh on this path. Man, that's a really great nose. It's all cream soda, that's all I can get out of it. Um, it's delicious. Let's sip. There it is. Just a little harsh. Um, still getting a little bit of that cream soda in there. It's a little bit of, I can tell there's mezcal. I can, but it's not as strong as I was. I think this is probably mezcal finishing done right. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's, let's get, let me give you some of the specs. So, um, it's a seven year American whiskey. So it's not a bourbon. Uh, it's finished 15 months in an ex Reposado mezcal barrel. The mash bill on it's 91% corn and 9% malted barley. So they, they went super sweet, uh, on the corn side. Um, the proof on this bottle is 123.7 and MSRP is only 60 from what I saw on their website. So it's not a bad price point especially when you have a seven year and you're finishing it in 15 months at like, that's a long time to hold a barrel uh, and not get paid for it. Right. So man, I really like that nose, but, and I'm now that I sipped it, I'm getting a lot of corn. All right, let me sip it again. Yeah. To be honest, it tastes young. Um, Tastes like young corn. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's like mellow corn, but 
it tastes like younger bourbon uh where it you know it's got heavy corn notes uh closer to like a white dog than a fin you know than, than a whiskey that's been aged but it's not bad. I think I'd be disappointed for 60 bucks. And I think I'd be disappointed if I was looking for that mezcal flavor because it's not very prominent. Um, I think it's just not my jam. I think that's the problem. If I... Uh, yeah, I I just don't think it's for me. Uh, you know, El Jefe, mezcal finished, it's, it's not... It's not offensive. I'm not drinking it like I did with a lot of the other tequila and mezcal finished products I've tasted. Um, it's not something I'm like, oh, God, that's gross, or get that away from me. I think they did it right. I'm surprised they aged it for that long in a, in a, uh, in a mezcal barrel, and it, it doesn't pull that much mezcal flavor. But it's not bad. It's just not for me. Um, so, yeah, I don't know who this is for. Probably somebody that just wants something different. But... Like I said, it's not bad. Just I wouldn't pay 60 bucks for it only because it's not my profile. Um, So I guess I can't be mad if I did pay 60 bucks (laughs) because it's something I should have known better. Um, But anyways, we've tasted through all four of these. Uh, For the most part, I was uh, I was wrong about how I felt about them originally. Uh, I kind of thought this was going to be whiskey that I wasn't going to be excited about and I didn't like. That Bee's Knees, uh, Jeff, you might not be getting it back just because I might want to keep it here. Uh, but the rest of them, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I think they're doing something good there. Uh, you know, for them to make mezcal finished whiskey that, I, that doesn't offend me, uh, that, that's actually quite, quite impressive. So um, if I had to rank them one to four, I would say my least. The number four, my least liked one, would be the Mezcal Finished. I think number three would probably be this Toasted Barrel Finished. Number two would be the Honey, and my favorite was the 95.5 MGP Rye, just because it's a good 95.5 MGP Rye. And I keep calling it that because I'm so damn certain that it is 95.5. But guys, if you enjoyed this review, please, we have a ton more on our YouTube channel. Go subscribe. And remember, open those special bottles, share them with good company, and if you're going to drink, Please do so responsibly. Cheers.